The 20th of April, 2023, marked a significant but challenging milestone for SpaceX. The day saw the first full-scale launch attempt of Starship, the ambitious spacecraft designed to carry humans and cargo to distant destinations like Mars. However, this monumental day ended with some unforeseen difficulties. The nearly 400-foot-tall Starship, the most potent rocket ever built, took to the skies over Texas. Its engines roared, generating awe-inspiring power. For over three minutes, the Starship made impressive strides, achieving several key milestones for a spacecraft of such unprecedented magnitude. However, the launch was not without its issues. During the flight, the Starship began to experience engine troubles, with multiple engines failing. The mission's ultimate goal reaching space was abruptly halted as the rocket started to tumble and was intentionally destroyed mid-air to prevent further damage. The outcome was a significant blow to the launch pad infrastructure, far more than anyone at SpaceX had anticipated. Post-launch, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson told the House Committee on Science, Space and Technology that SpaceX had blown a hole in that launch pad. Debris was scattered everywhere, a violent testament to the force unleashed by the Super Heavy Booster's engines. The site bore the brunt of the explosion with a crater carved into the ground and debris impacting the launch tower, nearby tanks and other ground equipment. SpaceX began meticulously examining the area, estimating the extent of the damage, and formulating a plan to restore the launch pad. Photographs taken in the aftermath captured the extent of the devastation, presenting a stark contrast to the typically pristine launch environment. Fast forward to today, and SpaceX's resilience is on full display. Instead of merely repairing the damage, SpaceX is revolutionizing the launch pad. Inspired by their unique blend of boldness and innovation, the company has introduced a solution involving steel plate components installed into the Launchpad Foundation. The concept is simple yet ingenious. By incorporating six steel plates under the Launch Mount Foundation, arranged into a hexagon, SpaceX aims to prevent similar damage in the future. Crews are working tirelessly as excavation continues, surroundings are cleaned up, and high-pressure gas tanks are installed next to the tank farm. This massive task demands a gargantuan scale of operations, from giant water pumps to vast pipes, and it's clear that no small detail is being overlooked in the effort to enhance safety and efficiency. SpaceX is betting heavily on these steel plates. The expectation is that this will lead to a significant leap in launch safety reducing risks and leading to more successful missions. Meanwhile, the Ship 25, which moved for the first time in late April, has been the subject of intrigue within the space community, with its future plans remaining undisclosed. Furthermore, SpaceX has expanded its operations by acquiring Massey's gun range, transforming it into a rocket test facility. This site is now being utilized for the testing and repair of the Raptor engines, further expanding SpaceX's capabilities. If the steel plates work as expected, it could set a new standard for launch pad construction, creating a paradigm shift in how we approach space launches. The implications of such a breakthrough extend far beyond SpaceX. It could potentially influence the design and operation of launch pads worldwide, making space launches more reliable, safer, and more efficient. In addition to the potential safety benefits, the steel plates could also offer enhanced cost effectiveness. The reduction in launch pad damage would minimize the need for expensive repairs and reconstruction, leading to significant cost savings. This cost effectiveness aligns well with SpaceX's goals of making space travel more affordable and accessible. Of course, the steel plate solution is not without its challenges. The logistics of installing these heavy-duty components, the need for extensive testing to ensure their effectiveness, and the task of integrating them into existing launch infrastructure are all significant hurdles. But if there's one thing SpaceX has consistently demonstrated, it's the ability to overcome obstacles in pursuit of its bold vision. NASA was closely monitoring the situation, given their substantial investment in the success of Starship. In 2021, the space agency awarded SpaceX a nearly $3 billion contract to use Starship to land astronauts on the moon as part of the Artemis program. Thus, a speedy and successful recovery from this setback was of significant importance not only to SpaceX, but to NASA's lunar ambitions as well. SpaceX is also making significant strides in its propulsion technology. The company revealed its new rocket engine, the Raptor 3. 
SpaceX's Raptor engines are unlike any other in the industry. They employ a unique full-flow staged combustion cycle, a design that offers improved efficiency over traditional rocket engines. This design uses both of the engine's primary propellants, liquid oxygen and methane, to power the engine's turbo pumps, which help pressurize the propellants before they're burned in the combustion chamber. With the new engine, SpaceX has managed to increase the chamber pressure substantially. This higher pressure results in more thrust generated by the engine, leading to a higher payload capacity for the Starship. Moreover, with the acquisition of Massey's gun range, SpaceX has expanded its facilities for Raptor engine testing and repairs. The gun range turned rocket test facility provides an ideal setting for SpaceX to conduct extensive tests on these engines, allowing for real-time improvements and adjustments. Engine tests are a critical aspect of SpaceX's quality control. They help in identifying issues before they can impact launches. This process involves pushing the engines to their limits to ensure they can withstand the intense conditions they'll encounter during space travel. It's this rigorous testing regime that has helped SpaceX maintain a high success rate for its launches. SpaceX has also announced a significant change in their launch operations at Florida's Space Coast. This alteration revolves around a crucial aspect of SpaceX's operations booster landings. The Space Coast, renowned for the thundering rumble of rockets and window-rattling sonic booms created by their return landings, is set to experience an increase in these sounds. Traditionally, Crewed launches to the International Space Station involved Falcon 9 booster landings on drone ships positioned in the Atlantic Ocean. This process was crucial for SpaceX's vision of reusability, allowing the company to recover and refurbish the boosters for future launches, saving both time and money. However, SpaceX has recently identified an opportunity for extra performance. This newfound potential has paved the way for the company to start landing boosters at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station during these crewed missions. We hope you found this video engaging and enlightening. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on SpaceX. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next update.